today we have the factory acceptance test for uh, the project Jibata for the gas engine. This is a day where we invite the client to witness the test of our gas engine. It's an important milestone for this project because it allows to certify that our engine is fulfilling all our contractual specification before sending it to site in Gibraltar. We are testing, for example, the consumption of air to start the engine. Uh, we are testing the consumption of gas for sure. We are also testing some safety features such as uh, overspeed or loop ball pressure or even we are doing a governor test. So we have uh, as EPC uh, contractor, general contractor, the company Buig Energies and Services. The power plant in Gibraltar is due to the request of the government of Gibraltar to be independent in terms of energy. So that was very important for them. The total capacity is 80 megawatts and uh, it's supposed to be delivered within 2017. The concept of the power plant is a fully digitalized system, including the local level on the engine, the general power plant, and also the complete grid of the Gibraltarian network. This new power plant is aimed to replace the old existing power plant, which is now more than 30 years old. So this is also a challenge for MAN because this power plant is aimed to be the only one producing electricity for whole Gibraltar, meaning that very high reliability is required here. The gas engine which we are supplying for Gibraltar is simply the most efficient gas engine large war in the market today. We are on a reclaimed land, so that was quite complicated to do the civil work to support the size of the engine and the weight, of course. Also, the site is very close, very small, and it's near an airport strip, which gives us a lot of constraint. It was also quite difficult to manage the environmental questions like emissions, like noise. We are close to the city, we have several buildings around with people living there. So that was a real challenge. Every engine weighs 280 tons. They are 11 meters long. They have 5 meters width and 6 meters high. So those engines are going to be shipped to Gibraltar. The ship, uh, you can see, has uh, already picked up the alternators in Helsinki a few days ago, and now they are loading the, the engines. So in Gibraltar, we will uh, unload them and uh, transport every, each of them directly into the powerhouse, which has already been built. Our old power station was built in 1981, so you can imagine the difference in, in advanced technology that we, we are going to be facing here. So that's probably the highlight of the, of the new power plant. The reason changing from diesel to LNG, or in, in this case, three of the engines being dual fuel, mainly is, is environmental issues. We are very conscious that we are probably the main polluters of emissions in Gibraltar. At the same time, we want to do something about it. Changing to the LNG will reduce the emissions significantly, more so the NOx and the nitrous oxide and the sulfur oxide. The sulfur will basically disappear. Nitrous oxide will be reduced by up to 99% and the CO2, carbon dioxide, will be reduced up to 40 to 45%. So I think we are doing quite a bit for the emissions and for the environment. And at the same time, the LNG is significantly cheaper than the diesel or the, or the marine diesel that we use. So it's twofold really, environmental issues and um, cost. We are now at the heart of our power plant. We are close to the powerhouse where our engines be located. Well, in the moment we are installing our engines, the equipment already has been installed. It will follow the generators and then we're going to align the generators. The team around can start for the piping. Well, hopefully within the next six months we can get it pre-commissioned and then to start it up the engines, to get it commissioned at least. The collaboration with MAN was very professional. We and MAN are two groups which are huge and uh, I think that we understand each other and that's the main 
target for a big project like this.